Oi pessoal, tudo bem com vocês? Pra quem não me conhece, eu sou a Cami Maçaneiro e hoje aqui no canal eu preparei um vídeo com os maiores nomes da tecnologia dizendo do porquê que você deve começar a programar. Vamos lá? Que foi? Ah, ele tem que dar um oi. Eu estava preparando para vocês um vídeo sobre o que é programação e o que o engenheiro de software faz. Então eu decidi pesquisar o mercado de TI no Brasil e o quanto que nós investimos no mercado brasileiro. E os números são muito promissores. A pesquisa mostra que o investimento em tecnologia e informação como software, hardware e serviços no Brasil chega até 47 milhões de dólares. Mas mesmo com tantos números promissores para a nossa área, a gente vê um déficit gigante de mão de obra qualificada, de gente interessada no assunto. E por isso que eu trouxe esse vídeo, para te dar essa motivação com os maiores nomes da área de tecnologia, falando do porquê que você deve programar. Então chega de conversa e vamos para o vídeo! I was 13 when I first got access to a, a computer. My parents bought me a, uh, a Macintosh in 1984 when I was eight years old. I was in sixth grade. I learned to code in college. Freshman year, first semester, um, intro to computer science. I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. I think it was pretty humble beginnings. I think the first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color? Or how old are you? I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. The first time I actually had something come up and say, hello world, and it, the, I made a computer do that, it was just astonishing. Learning how to program didn't start off as wanting to learn all of computer science or, um, or trying to master this discipline or anything like that. It just started off because I wanted to do this one simple thing. I wanted to make something that was fun for myself and, and my sisters. And I wrote this little program and then basically just add a little bit to it. And then when I needed to learn something new, I looked it up either in a book or on the internet and then added a little bit to it. It's really not unlike kind of playing an instrument or something or, 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 you know, or playing a sport. It starts out being very intimidating, but you kind of get the hang of it over time. Coding is something that can be learned. And um, I know it can be intimidating. A lot of things are intimidating, but uh, you know, what isn't? A lot of the coding that people do is actually fairly simple. Um, it's, it's more about the process of breaking down problems than, uh, you know, sort of coming up with complicated algorithms as people traditionally think about it. You don't have to be a genius to know how to code. You need to be determined. Addition, subtraction, uh, that, that's about it. You should probably know your multiplication tables. <laughs> you don't have to be a genius to code. Do you have to be a genius to read? Even if you want to become a race car driver or play baseball, um, or, uh, you know, build a house. All of these things have been turned upside down by software. What it is is, you know, computers are, are everywhere. You want to work in agriculture? <laughs> Do you want to work in entertainment? Do you want to work in manufacturing? You know, it's, it's just all over. Here we are, 2013. We all depend on technology to communicate, to bank, information, and none of us know how to read and write code. When I was in school, I was in this after-school group called the Whiz Kids, and when people found out, they laughed at me and, you know, all these things. And I'm like, man, I don't care. I think it's cool, and, you know, I'm learning a lot, and some of my friends have jobs. Our policy is literally to hire as many talented engineers as we can find. The whole limit in the system is just that there just aren't enough people who are trained and have these skills today. To get the very best people, we try to make the office as awesome as possible. We have a fantastic chef. Free food. 
breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Free laundry, snacks, even places to play and video games and scooters. There's all these kind of interesting things uh, around the office and places where people can play or relax um, or go to think or play music or be creative. Whether you're trying to make a lot of money or whether you just want to change the world, computer programming is an incredibly empowering skill to learn. I think if someone had told me that software is really about humanity, that it's really about helping people by using computer technology, it would have changed my outlook a lot earlier. To be able to actually come up with an idea and then see it in your hands and then be able to press a button and have it be in millions of people's hands. Uh, I mean, I think we're the first generation in the world that's really ever had that kind of experience. Just to think that I mean, you can start something in you know, your college dorm room and you can have a set of people who haven't built a big company before come together and build something that a billion people use as part of their, their daily lives is, is just crazy to think about, right? It's really, it's humbling and it's amazing. The programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're going to look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. I think it's amazing. It's, I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it. E aí, se interessou mais sobre o assunto? Então corre pro link da minha bio, se inscreve no meu canal no YouTube e lá a gente vai falar muito sobre programação. Um dos motivos que eu fiz o canal, além de gerar a nossa conexão, é trazer mais gente pra minha área. Então pra você não perder nada, corre no link da minha bio, se inscreve lá. Eu espero que vocês tenham gostado. Um beijão e até a próxima.